In the chapter of algebraic functions and subject formula, let's take a look at checkpoint 6.2 part A. Now this question is asking you to express each of these fractions as the simplest form. So you see, unlike the one that you did in multiplication and division, you are looking at addition and subtraction, of which you cannot cancel them unless they are in multiplication form. So what do I mean by that? Let's go through question 3. Okay, let's see. For the first part of this question, what I'll do is I'll take out common factor. Okay, so I'll take out 2, d minus 2f, alright, plus 7, 4f minus 2d. Okay, now what I want you all to sh see is that this example was specifically picked, okay, because of this kind of question. So you might encounter questions where, you know, you have uh, an inverse, okay, so instead of f, instead of d minus 2f, you have f minus 2d, okay. So, right, 1, 2, 2, 2d, sorry, this one should be 2f, okay, 2f, it is 4, 2f minus d, okay? So you realize that actually it's the opposite, it's the other way around, all right? Okay, so what can we do to actually swap it around? You can actually do this, so I have 9, 2d minus 2f, okay, 7, I'll put a negative in front, so I'll put a negative in front, all right, such that I will change and get a d minus 2f, okay? So, you do realize that now I have already swapped back, okay? So just to actually explain why do I put a negative in front, okay? Because if I were to expand this, this is technically still negative 4d plus 8f. So is this the same as this? Yes, okay? So you put a negative in front so that you can swap them around over here. Alright, so following, continuing, okay, let's do, uh, let's change common denominator. So I will have 9, okay, over 2d minus 2f plus 4 over negative 4d minus 2f. Okay, so what will I do is I'll multiply both sides by negative 2, okay, multiply by negative 2, such that my base will be negative 4, correct? Okay, so I'll combine my base together, I'll get negative 18 plus 7 over negative 4 d minus 2 f okay so negative 18 plus 7 will give you a total of negative 11 over negative 4 d minus 2 f cancel out the negative sign you have 11 over 4 d minus 2 f okay now moving next let's go through c uh, question 3 h okay now this is also speci specifically picked okay because of the fact that there is a quadratic equation as the denominator all right so what will I do if let's say I have such a question is I will, okay, I'll put press into my calculator or do cross factorization, okay, 1, 3, and negative 4 to give me a factor. So after factorizing, I'll have P minus 1 and P plus 4, okay, minus P plus 4 here. So I'll make common denominator, right? So you see, I'm going to do the screen. I'm going to P minus 1, P minus 1. Okay, so once done, I'll take 1 minus P minus 1 over P minus 1, P plus 4. Okay, so equals to 1 minus P plus 1 over P minus 1, P plus 4. So what is the eventual answer? Alright, you'll eventually be able to get a 2 minus P, P minus 1, P plus 4. Okay, yep. Now once done, let's take a look at question D. Uh, question 8, part B, alright, now this time around you have three different fractions, okay, again, don't have to be worried, just take out the common factor, you'll see something that looks really familiar to you, okay, so B, you have 5 over Y minus 3 minus 7, take out 3 as your common factor, you have Y minus 3, okay, plus 10, <clears throat> take out 2 as your common factor, you have 3 minus Y, okay, equals to 3, so can you see, something happened, okay, whatever we learned in part, uh, in part C actually occurred here, Okay, so again, use the method that I've taught you, all right? You have 5 minus, 5 over uh, y minus 3, minus 7, 3, y minus 3. Then you have, okay, 10 minus 2, y minus 3, right? Okay, then what happens is you will have equals to 3. So combine, make everything the common denominator. Please take note uh, that you have a 3 here and you have a negative 2 here, right? Okay, so I'll multiply all throughout such that, okay, there will be a, there'll be a 5 multiplied by 
3 multiplied by negative 2. Okay, you can see what I'm doing. Alright, then minus away 7. Okay, multiplied by what? Multiplied by negative 2. I want to make all the common denominator. Right, so after that I plus, plus 10. Again, I will actually have to change this, multiply by 3. So eventually I'll have a 3, negative 2, y minus 3 here. Notice, equals 3. Now we leave the one on the right hand side on its own first. Okay, later we will do a cross multiplication after. So you can actually work it out, alright, 5 times 3 times negative 2 will give you negative 30. Alright, plus 14, plus 30. Okay, you have negative 6, y minus 3 equals to 3. Right? Okay? So you will have negative 30 plus 14 plus 30 give you 14. You cross multiply. Okay, you cross multiply. You will have, you will have 3, negative 6, y minus 3. So 14 equals to 3 times negative 6 will give you negative 18. Negative 18y minus 3, 14 equals to negative 18y plus, okay, plus 54. So combine all your like terms again, alright? So you will have 14 minus 54 to give you negative 40, negative 18y. So y equals to, y would be equals to negative 20 over 9. Okay? Yep. Oh yeah. We move away this negative over here because negative negative will cancel each other. So please remember, down here is just negative 40 divided by negative 18. Okay, this will be your final answer, which is 20 over 9. All right, once you're done, let's take a look at question 3a over here. Okay, given the algebraic expression, all right, write down the coefficient of y squared. Okay, so let's expand this one out first. You have x squared y plus... 25y squared minus 24. You notice how negative 5 when you square it, it becomes a 25, right? So what do we do is to identify where is y squared. y squared is here. Okay, so remember I mentioned that coefficient is basically just the number before whatever uh, whatever term you see. So in this case, your coefficient of y squared, your answer would be 25. Easy? Okay, what's the constant term? Constant term basically does not have anything. It's just the number. Just number itself. Okay, so down here. Now, Question is, will you be actually looking at negative 4 or 4? Ah, now, this is a very crucial thing. So, in this case, you will take the negative as well. Because, you see, if I put 25, ah, because it's plus, correct? So, there is no point putting a plus 25. But for constant term, you must write a negative 4 over here. Okay? Then, let's take a look at part B. Now, given that 3x equals to 153 squared minus 147 squared, find the value of x by using factorization. Now remember this kind of question, it looks relatively familiar, especially what we have gone through in chapter uh, chapter 5. Okay, 153, 147. Alright, how would I actually find the value of x by using factorization? Okay, okay. so now for this particular kind of question, you, no you notice that this is actually a squared minus b squared again. So what will your formula be? a minus b, a plus b, right? So you write this down, you should have 153 minus 147, 153 plus 147, right? So by using factorization, please uh, don't go and press in your calculator and then just derive it as 3x. You must show you're working. So down here you would have 6, okay, multiplied by 300. So this will eventually give you, okay, 1800, right? So then you have x equals to 1800 divided by 3 to give you, 600 as your total value of x okay now then let's take a look at question 5 now question 5 is relatively unique over here okay so they're actually telling you your identities okay this is a very common question especially for those uh, more difficult kind of uh, you know more difficult kind of algebraic questions so you see the first thing you're looking at is r minus s okay so for s square plus r square all right how will you actually derive it Okay, you will see that this is derived from S plus R whole thing square. Now, what do I mean by that? S plus R whole thing square is actually S square minus 2 SR plus R square, right? Okay, I'm going to highlight this, S square, R square, right? So what? I want this, okay? I want this S square plus R square. So what do I do is I will minus away this 2 SR. So therefore, S plus R whole thing square minus away 2SR equals to S square plus R square. Realize? 
okay so down here you do realize that if let's say this is 58 okay and rs is 21 so 2 rs is 21 s plus r whole thing square would be okay 58 plus 2 times 21 will give you 100 okay so you will have 5 plus r whole thing square you get plus minus 100 right so s plus r equals to 10 or negative 10 okay now when you're done all right they're asking you they're asking you to find the value of s minus r so okay using whatever example that i just gave you am i right to also say that s minus r whole thing square okay or even r minus okay so r minus s whole thing square equals to r square minus 2 r s plus s square am i right okay so let's apply the same thing let's bring over this you have r minus s whole thing square plus 2 r s equals to r square plus s square right okay so you see this is whatever you have this is 58 again this is 21 so you will have r minus s whole thing square equals to 2 plus 21 equals to 58 so r minus s whole thing square would be 58 minus away 2 times 21 you should have a 16 so s r minus s equals to square root plus minus 16 which means r minus s equals to 4 or negative 4 over here okay yeah so this will be your final answer then let's take a look at part b okay now this one is generally more unique i would say because why this is 5r plus 5s okay please ah uh, common mistake okay i'm gonna write this in blue common mistake students will do is this this is wrong 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 and even more wrong okay why because the phi has identities as well so please remember to apply your identities in this context okay so what i'll do is i'll expand this out first two times of 5r and 5s then you plus 5s whole thing square you get 25 r square plus okay 2 times 5 times 5 you should get 50 50 rs plus 25 s square so you have 25 okay bracket r square plus s square plus 50 rs okay so you just sub in your value you have 25 all right 58 plus 50 multiplied by 21 so this would give you a good 25 times 58 plus 50 times 21. The total answer should be 2500, okay?